I love doing things that no one else is doing or things that I think are really innovative. And this entire project was just oozing innovation. At the same time, it was oozing fearlessness. I knew immediately that this was something I wanted to be involved with. And she was like, I have this project and I want you to audition for it. So I was like, okay, well, what is this project? Hi, friends and family. Seven years after graduating from Emerson College and working in productions abroad, I shot a short film. Now I'm ready to share this amazing experience with you and ask you to be a part of it. So those of you who know me might remember my first short film called Medea, which was a gothic romantic adaptation of the classical Greek tragedy. This time I turned to opera for inspiration. With universal themes that include survival, mortality, and desire, it became a story about a fighter pilot in the aftermath of a crash. And after a long pre-production process, it became clear that it would be a silent film featuring a single character with a desert setting shot on film with two to five minutes of duration. So after storyboarding, locking down location, rehearsing, prepping, and test shooting, we finally got to day one of our shoot. This was definitely a challenging shoot. We had cars getting stuck in the sand, 110 degrees, 30 mile an hour sand winds. I remember I just had sand all over my eyes, all within my ears. It was, it was just sand in every crevice of my body. That said, this is definitely one of my favorite shoots in the past several years. So many things could have gone wrong, and of course nothing goes exactly the way as planned, but there couldn't have been a better team to handle every situation with such stamina and grace. I don't think that I've been able to work with a crew who's so incredibly special and brought so much to this from top to bottom. Honestly, there is no bottom. Everyone was at the top of their game and they brought it. I really think it's that we all believe so much in the story and so much in the perspective of the story that we were willing to push ourselves as hard as humanly possible while still being safe to capture it in a way that nobody else could capture it. Now is where the really heavy lifting comes in. It's just something raw and something honest about this project that I identified with. I mean, this project is just spearheading what is more to come. First, we have an Asian American female director. We have an Asian American female protagonist and you get to see how powerful she is but it's not even that it's just a powerful human being a powerful human being trying to overcome these immeasurable odds but does it in such a way that is not weak or or submissive in any single way helen rules she's the best director to work with she's super humble and super open to everybody's ideas just to make the project the best it can be she is just like a powerhouse I mean, she's the one who made the plane by herself. She, she, she like did everything. She will sacrifice everything for the sake of a project, for the sake of art, for the sake of something that she really, really truly believes in. And you don't really see that very often in people. Watching someone who every single day brought the focus, the intensity, the desire. I was super lucky because Helen didn't even fully understand how talented she is. And getting the opportunity to put those pieces around someone to succeed is what I love doing, it's why I love producing. There's no one who's successful alone, and it takes people who are dedicated to their craft, donating their time, giving all their energy to this project, but it also takes people like you who like the work and who think it's really, really interesting. And we'd love to make more, and this is just the first step to us doing that. We do what we do to create, to engage, and to connect. So please follow us on our journey. Thank you so much for checking this out. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching, and we hope to continue our conversation.